hello friends welcome back to the next video tutorial of the android application development and using the sqlite database in your android application uh, for the better use of the functionalities so in the previous tutorial i have talked about the initial setup that how you have to do the initial setup for the SQLite database and how you have to declare the db handler class over here and how you have to declare the uh, separate class for the student that we are going to add the student information in our database so this is what the initial setup if you do not have seen that particular video so please refer that part, uh, video first then on, then only after you will understand this particular video tutorial so next thing that uh, i have described that i have designed the different form different forms for add the student the uh, update the student information and delete the particular student information so this is what the layout of uh, the update the student information and this is what the layout of the delete the particular student information they require some uh, basic kind of a input from the user that is what the id of the student uh, that uh, whatever display uh, whatever id will be generated that id will be displayed to them when they want to see the details of the students so this is what the different forms now how we will design this uh, or ha handle these particular forms with the dialogue, frag uh, dialogue fragment so let's say we will first see the add student form so for that uh, create a class in the java file that is the add student dialogue uh, over here so here is a class that i have created with the help of the uh, name it has the add student dialogue which extend not the activity but it extend the dialogue fragment so it is a kind of a fragment which is a dialogue so there is a one super uh, one parent class dialog fragment which you have to extend with this particular with this particular class so create a class add student dialog in that particular class create an interface that will handle the on click event of this on click event of the button of this particular dialog so create an interface add student dialog listener in that particular interface create a method void on save button click so this is what the button that we want uh, we uh, are going to declare later on the dialog fragment and this is what the method which will handle the on click event of that particular save button so just create an interface on save button click and pass on the dialog fragment instance over here so this is what the parameter now Create, create an instance of this particular add student dialog listener over here create an instance add student dialog listener equal to add student listener that is what the instance create the context i think which is not useful over here and whenever you will create this particular dialog fragment first uh, thing that you have to do is uh, that it will call the on create dialog method over here so whenever the dialog fragment will be created then the something that you have to display to the user so for that in this particular method on create dialog you have to do the changes that which layout you want to display to the user so for that uh, create an instance of the alert dialog builder use the alert dialog builder to define a one particular instance of the alert dialog builder class and you will give uh, you will have fetch the context of the activity not the this dialog fragment okay so you will fetch the context of the get activity that which activity has called this particular dialog fragment so get the activity that is the context that we will pass to the alert dialog dot builder then get the layout inflator the layout inflator is uh, useful when you will when you will want to display the custom layout for the any different fragment or the different uh, dialog fragment so for that get the instance of the layout inflator with the help of the layout inflator inflator equal to get activity dot get layout inflator then what you have to do you have to just set the parameters for the builder so here is the parameter in builder dot set view that you have to display the custom uh, layout over here the custom uh, layout from the xml file so set view the we will use the inflator instance inflator dot inflate we will inflate that particular layout over here r dot layout dot student form that is the student form that we have defined over here so that will display as a dialog in this particular builder so builder dot set view inflate the particular student layout and pass on the null as the root element of this particular layout next here it will close that particular set view method next dot set the positive button for this particular 
dialog fragment so we will set the positive button which has the string equal to add so if the user has inputted this particular information then can easily add the uh, add the information for the student to the database so add we will pass on the dialog add is the string that will display to that particular user and how we will handle this on click event so for that create a new dialog interface dot on click listener so for the dialog fragment the on click uh, method on click listener of this particular button will handle by this particular method so that is what the public void on click dialog interface dialog and integer id so in this particular method you have to handle the add click event of this particular button so here we will define the interface method that we have declared over here okay so it will be handled by this particular method so we will use this particular instance of the and student dialog listener so that is what the add student add student listener dot on save button click add student dialog dot this so we will pass on this particular instance of this dialog fragment for the uh, on save button click listener so that is what the configuration that you have to do for the positive button and this method will be implemented in the main activity that how you will handle the different uh, parameters that the user has inputted the different information so how you will fetch this information and how you will ask this information to the database handler that will be implemented in the main activity from where this particular dialog fragment is called so that is what the set positive button and for the set negative button we have to just display the string of the cancel and we does not have to do anything new we have to just cancel or dismiss the dialog so add student dialog dot this dot get dialog so it will get the dialog window dot cancel so it will just cancel your dialog and at the last you have to return the builder dot create so whenever the instance of this on create dialog will be created you have to return this particular type of a dialog to the calling method so this is what the uh, this is what the uh, addition that you have to do in the add student dialog now next that uh, you have to confirm that the activity which is calling the add student dialog the activity which is calling the add student uh, dialog class or instance from uh, from itself then it has to implement this particular interface the add student dialog listener interface so make sure it has implemented or not so for that you have to use the on attach method over here whenever the this particular dialog fragment is attached to that activity then you can use this method so on attach pass on the activity you have to pass this instance the add student listener equal to add student dialog listener you have to pass on the activity then this will be in the try on catch that the activity doesn't implement the interface so you can throw the exception that is throw new class cast exception activity dot to string and that activity must implement the add student dialog listener so this is what the configuration and this is what the code that you have to do in the add student dialog now where you will use this particular add student dialog so in our main activity we have the layout like uh, this one so on clicking the add student button it will open the dialog window so for that we have defined a button instance the button add student over here we have get the button id for, uh, we have get the button id with the help of the id of that particular button so button add students button find view by id r dot id dot button add students and we have def uh, we have declared a one particular on click listener over here so when the button add student dot set on click listener is there then the, we will define the new view on new view on click listener over here on click method we will we have to display that particular dialog so we will create an instance of this particular class the add student dialog dialog equal to new add student dialog so it will create the dialog with all of the configuration that we have implemented over here so it will just create this particular instance and we does not have to do anything new we have to just show this particular dialog to the user so dialog dot show get fragment manager and the tag so this is the uh, configuration that you have to do so dialog dot show get fragment manager so it will implement uh, it will display that particular dialog to the user but we have to implement that particular method the add student dialog listener dot on save click on save button click 
so that is the so that is the method which we have to implement over here so whenever you will create an instance of this class particular then it will just uh, display a particular message that you have to override some methods or you have to implement some methods of this particular dialog so for that you have to just uh, extend your uh, activity that in, it implements the add student dialog dot add student dialog listener so whenever you will implement this particular thing it will implement the method of your particular class that is what the on save button click so from the dialog whenever the user will click the on save button what will happen so we have to fetch those information from this particular dialog the enrollment number name and the phone number and we have to pass on this information to the db handler which will handle the database activity so here in this particular method on save button click we will it has the dialog fragment over here so we will fetch the information the enrollment number name and the phone number with the help of these things you know how to fetch the information from the activity then in this uh, in this you does not have to do anything new you have to just add a one particular dialog view over here uh, before getting this particular find view by id so dialog dot get dialog which will get the dialog and then you can call the find view by id to get the particular instance of the added text from the dialog so this is what how you have to do the enrollment number will be converted to the string and then after it will it will be converted to the integer the name will be remain into the string format and the phone number will remain into the string format also the additional part that i have done which uh, i have done checking the validation of the enrollment number name and the phone number that the user has inputted is all the things or not okay so these are what the different uh, thing that you have to do so it will just get all the information over here whenever the save button click will be fired over there so after checking this particular validation what i have done that if the any of the things is missing then i will just display a message that enter data again you does not have provided the proper information or else what we have to do we have to pass on this information to the db handler class which will add the student to the sqlite database so there is a one method we have to implement in the db handler class okay so we have seen in the previous tutorial the on create and the on upgrade method now there is an on add new student method is there which will take in which will take a parameter of the student uh, which will take the class object of the student as a parameter so what will happen when this particular method will be get called so First of all, uh, get the instance of the SQLite database db equal to this dot get writable database. It will get the db database. Then you have to create the instance of the content values, which will contain the values that we are going to set in this particular content value instance. So values dot put key role number equal to new student. The instance of the students that we have declared over here. The new student dot get enrollment number. So it will get the enrollment number from that values dot put key name we will put the name over here which is defined by this particular string and this is the name of the column of the particular table so key name equal to new student dot get name so it will get the name from this particular instance and same for the third column that the key phone number equal to new student dot get the phone number so it will get the phone number of that particular student so this is what the thing that we have to add in the db handler class and this is what the value instance that we have created now we have to add this particular value instance to the database so db.insert it is the method that will insert the values into the table so db.insert pass on the table name table student details pass on the second value as the null which is the null columnable hang is that and the last one is the content values so this is what the things that you have to pass so we have to pass the table name over here then the null in the con null content values hack and the values that you have defined over here or we have configured over here so the values we have to pass into this particular query so the, uh, this will insert that particular student information and then after we have to just close this particular database so this is what the parameter uh, this is what the thing that you have to configure in the db handler class which will handle the add student information add new student information to the database now what we have to pass we have to pass just a student instance over here so what i have done in the main activity so if the all the things are not 
null that means the user has given the proper information for the insert into the database so what happened we will just call the db dot add new student that is the method that we have defined just now into the particular db handler class as you can see the db handler class has contained the db handler class contain the add new student which contain the student so we will create a new student instance over here with the three parameters the uh, enrollment number which we have get from over here the name and the phone number which we have get from the user so this is what how you will create the student instance with the help of this information it will create the student in instance and it will pass this particular instance to this particular db handler class method and it will get the values from this particular get the values from this instance and it will set the values uh, with the proper key and value pair and it will insert these particular values into the student database student table entry so this is how you can insert a one particular student information from this particular form after the validation it will check the validation the add student dialog is there which you have to configure that the make sure that the, in the main activity whoever is creating that this particular dialog is has created or implemented the on save button click listener on save button click method of the listener of this particular class or not so on save button click you have to get the values from the dialog fragment you have to check the validation of that particular fragment and then you have to just call the uh, db handler class method that is what the add new student method which will contain the student instance from that one so create an instance with the help of these particular parameters that the user has just inputted and pass that particular instance to the add new student and what the add new student will contain it just contain the database instance it just contain the different uh, instance of the content values for the values that you pass on these two particular instance it will take the values from that one it will uh, format that into the key and the value pair and it will put that into the content values and it will just insert fire and query that is what the db dot insert the name of the table the null is the second parameter and the last one is the content values so it will insert your this information into the particular database table so this is how you will fetch the information from the user and how you will configure on and how it will insert the values user inputted values to that particular database table so this is how the add student form the same thing that we have to configure for all the other forms that is what the update student information and the delay student information that we have to specify the different dialog fragment classes for the delay student and the update student information and we have to display the custom layout to the user and we have to implement a method that will handle the dialog fragment activity uh, in the main activity that uh, the method that we have to implement over there that i am going to describe in my next video tutorial so make sure you will do the configuration or make sure you will do the second part of this particular video tutorial very well so thanks for watching this video and make sure you will see the both of the previous uh, the one of the previous tutorial after before going to the before going for this one and please see my next video tutorial to get at the end of this particular video series so thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel for the uh, list of the android application development thank you